Hello, everyone. This is Candace, and I'm here with Anthony Simonetti today, the president of the Just Breathe Foundation. And we are so excited because they are going to be our quarterly charity that we're supporting this, this coming quarter, starting July 1st. Hi, Anthony. Hello, Candace. Thank you How for you? having me. Of course, of course. Yeah, so what we wanted to do is just kind of give a quick overview of what the Just Breathe Foundation does and how people can support you um, throughout this quarter and, and really throughout the years. And really, I guess, what is your mission and what do you guys do? Yeah, so um, our mission at the Just Breathe Foundation is to make the lives of individuals and their families um, who battle cystic fibrosis mm -hmm. more manageable. Um, we provide funds to the applicants uh, in Western New York struggling with the financial hardships from the disease. Um, and we also strive to improve the quality of life and inspire others to show their support um, for the individuals and their families who struggle with cystic fibrosis on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, we started back in 2013 is when we kind of officially established our- Eight years now, huh? Yeah, it's, it's been going on for a while. So um, we've had a great success uh, with some of our um, endeavors to raise money and we've been able to help a ton of people over the years and continue to help. Yeah, one of those ways was the, the big Christmas ball. I know people yeah. love that. Yeah, is that gonna come back at all or so maybe not yet? We, uh, we made it 10 years running. Um, we actually started the CF ball prior to the Just Breathe Foundation. Okay what inspired the Just Breathe Foundation uh, is we had that event going on and we wanted to do something with those funds and kind of keep it more local. Um, so we started that um, and we've actually gone through that now for 10 years and we decided to kind of put a halt to it. Just everybody who's on the board, their family lives are kind of yeah. getting busy. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're, we're trying to figure out what our next big event is yeah. um, around the idea of doing some sort of summer event or fall event. Um, but haven't really, you know, decided exactly what it is yet. So these small little, uh, you know, uh, um, benefit, uh, different charitable, um, uh, you know, drives and whatnot, you know, they're community driven, definitely have helped us, um, especially through COVID, you know, we didn't oh, really yeah. do anything last year. And we yeah. decided this summer to kind of put it off one more year before we kind of, you know, went forward with a bigger event. Yeah. So uh, really thank you for, for doing, doing this. Um, yeah, we're so excited. Yeah, we are, we're happy to do it and to be able to have such a great foundation. A couple of our team members are close with your foundation and with yourself. So it was a no brainer when we were trying to think of who to support. So we're excited. Uh, yeah. What are some other ways? Like, I know when we support you guys, we, we try to do whatever we can. If someone wanted to help personally to give back to you guys or, or to help you, what is a way that they could do that? Yeah, so the easiest way um, is just like direct monetary donations that can be done through our website, which is justbreathecf.org. Okay. Um, and we also, you know, really appreciate any of these, you know, you know, whether it's a small event that's ran um, by an individual or, you know, something along the lines that you guys are doing, those types of things help us a ton. Um, and we can't thank you guys enough for that, that type of support. So awesome. anything along those lines is really helpful for us. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so, so much. Um, we're excited to partner with you guys and work with you and try and spread awareness for the Just yeah. Foundation as much as possible. Um, so thank you. We really appreciate it. Yes. Appreciate, appreciate your time. Yep.